What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another Python tutorial by Master Code Online. My name's Tom. As always, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our videos. It keeps us motivated. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about um, arbitrary ar arguments. Man, that's not easy to say. Arbitrary arguments, um, which means uh, asterisks args. I'm sure if you started programming, you probably came across this. It's an awesome feature that we can use to pass non-keyword variable length arguments, all right? So let's take a look at it. Um, and we're just focusing on asterisk args in this tutorial. Next tutorial will be the double asterisk keyword args, all right? Or k, k args. All right, so let's, let's take a look. Uh, first off, let's create a function. And I got to be on, there we go. Uh, define addition. All right, and we're just going to look at a basic um, function here that we've written a couple times. We haven't used addition, but we've written basic functions. And what we're going to do is print a, oops, a plus b. All right, and we're going to come down here and we're going to do addition. And we're going to do 2 comma 4. So we're passing the argument of 2 and 4. So 2 is going to be a and 4 is going to be b. Hit return, we get six. All right, cool. So say our program that we're writing, uh, we don't know how many um, arguments are going to be passed to a function. So let's take a look at an example. Say a user enters three numbers like that, all right, and we hit return. We're going to get addition function takes two positional arguments, but three were given. All right, so we're going to get an error. So how do we handle something like that? Well, using asterisk args will help us. So if we do define addition, all right, and we do asterisk args like this, all right. <clears throat> now, the asterisk is mandatory if you want to pass a uh, non-keyword um, variable length argument, all right. Um, the args can be anything, all right, but this is going to be your variable inside the function body here. So we can use anything to, we can name this anything, like cat, dog, car, plane, yellow, whatever you want to do, all right? Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to have to change this addition that we did up here because we can't do A plus B because if we're passing multiple arguments, we it's not, it, Python's not going to understand what you're doing. So we're going to have to do just print sum and then we're going to pass args, all right? And close up a little more parentheses. Sorry about that. If you hear my dog in the background, apparently when I talk, she feels the need to talk. So um, what? how do we work with this? Well, if we go addition and we do one, two, three, four, five, like that, hit return, we get 15. So if you add it, one to two is three. 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, all right? So we got 15. So basically what we're passing here is a tuple. So I'm going to show you one more example using this before I get off that. 2 plus, or 2 and 3 is 5. So you notice there's two different lengths here. So we can pass any length we want. This could be as long as you want or as short as you want, all right? Um, now I'm going to show you another example of this being a tuple and how it will not work. So let's go ahead and say um, define white space. All right, so we'll remove white space from a uh, string. All right, args, just like this. And how do I handle this? Let's do print args. Now this is going to fail, all right? replace uh, string and then the space and then string comma sh and then two quotes next to each other so that takes away the white space so in replace if you don't remember we find this uh, substring and replace it with this substring All right. so I need one more ash uh, one more parentheses and now if I pass white space and I do hello world and hello, oops, hello YouTube, 
Now I'm going to get an error on this. It says tuple object has no attribute replace. All right, replace is a string attribute. All right, so um, how do we fix this? Let's go ahead and rewrite this function. We're going to define white space. Oops, nice well, white space. And we'll do args again. All right. And this time um, we're going to do for arg in args. All right, we're going to loop through the tuple. And then we're going to do print uh, arg dot replace and then our quote space quote comma quote quote and now we will call white space and then here pass our string hello world hello YouTube Alright, and you can see now we are able to remove the white space from hello world and hello YouTube. So since it's a tuple being passed with the asterisks, all right, not just args, the asterisks, it is um, we have to use a for loop to loop through. All right. Now I just want to show you one last one real quick, and I'm just going to show you we do not have to use args. So if we do define addition. Uh, Asterisk dog, all right, and then we do um, print sum dog like that, and we do addition, and we do two four oops twenty four and twenty four works fifty six and eight, and hit return we get eighty eight. All right, so the args doesn't mean anything. That's just a um, convention that most programmers in Python will use. All right. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll help you out. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our videos to keep them coming. See you later.